Lipsurf 2.5 has a hugely improved Gmail plugin. So I'm going to give a tutorial just on how to use Gmail with the latest version of Lipsurf. So first I'll show everyone uh, an option I set here. Options. Scroll down. So I have the push to talk key set to alt now. Um, so I can um, describe what I'm doing and then just hold alt to execute Lipsurf commands. Close tab. So first um, to click folders, you can just say click and then uh, the folder name. So for example, click starred, click snoozed, click inbox, click social, click promotions. Okay, you get the idea. Click in, click primary. There's also now a command to search within Gmail. All you have to do is say search and then your query. For example, search security alert. Back to inbox. Now I'll show you the various ways to select emails. So you can select an email by its index, meaning uh, what, which email it is in the list, one, two, three, or you can select it um, on, uh, based on the, the name of the, the sender or uh, the subject or anything, any of the text you see here, really. So we can start with select first, select second, and that's how you select by number. Um, now let's, um, let's do by subject. Select adding you as a contact. So you, you only have to say part of um, the, the words that you see. So as long as there's some unique part of it, um, Lipsurf will know to select that email. And the, the next two emails have basically the exact same text. So you'll see what Lipsurf does about that. Select new error, AJ. So in that case, it, it was ambiguous as to exactly which email I wanted because they had that um, same uh, fuzzy text result. And Lipsurf then will tag the emails and I can disambiguate using those tags. So now with some emails selected, I can run actions on all of them. For example, mark as read, mark as unread, deselect all, select first, move to trash, undo. So I guess the only semi-interesting there is being able to undo um, your actions in case you make a mistake. It's just like hitting the undo button in Gmail. Next, we'll see how to operate on individual emails. So I can just say view, and then again, either the index of the email or um, what something in the subject or contact. View Canada Adventures. Scroll down, scroll right, scroll down, reply, scroll left, Scroll left, dictation mode, amazing view period, undo, amazing view exclamation point, normal mode, click send, back to inbox. Lastly, I'll show how to compose emails with the improved plugin. Compose, letter J, press down, 
press enter subject dictate when are we going to Canada question mark body dictation mode hey Jim comma I'm ready to go when you are exclamation point normal mode click send so I used a few new commands there that aren't specific to Gmail I'll show you where they are in the options options click keyboard so here you see press down and press enter both of which I use to uh, select a specific recipient once the type ahead on Gmail was showing me uh, the results so this is the uh, press down is equivalent to hitting the down arrow key and press enter uh, is the same as hitting the enter key and there's also a press tab which would have worked then there is click text input down then, then there was this uh, command spelling which is um, when you say letter followed by either a word um, corresponding to the radio alphabet for example or just letter B or letter C letter D and then uh, Lipsurf will just type that single letter so that's useful for spelling things out that's why it's the spelling command so that's the gist of how to use Gmail click Gmail Remember, you can always go here to uh, review the commands or just say help and see um, the results here as well. I hope that people find this tutorial useful and I hope even more that this really opens up Gmail to be more accessible for those that uh, have motor issues or are injured or for whatever other reason need to use their voice uh, to access their email. Thanks for watching.